One question I'm often asked is how to take a logo and turn it into a 3D design for 3D printing. So today I'm going to show you how to take a logo that I already have in vector format and export it out of Illustrator as an SVG, import it into Fusion 360, and extrude it into a three-dimensional shape. Now I've designed this logo in inches because I know the conversion factor to bring it into Fusion 360. So I'll save it out as an SVG, and by using SVG1, that makes sure it's the simplest format. Should have the best chance of success. So now that I've got that saved out into an SVG file, I can go to Fusion 360 and import it. Once I'm in Fusion 360, and you can see that my units are in inches, I can go ahead and create a sketch, and I'll do this on the XY plane, and then I can use the insert menu, insert SVG, I have to select the file, and I can open that. Now an interesting thing about this is that it does a scaling factor. Now I know that that is four thirds to get it corrected. But once I do that, it's one and a half inches in width. I'll, go, I'll say okay to finish the import, and now I'll stop sketch. I'll rotate it a bit so we can see it at an angle. And now I can use my extrude operation to turn it into a three-dimensional piece. I've hit E for extrude. I have my options here. Um, I have my options here. I will go ahead, zoom in a bit, and I will select the outer circle and each of these letters. I'm going to bring it up to a quarter inch. We've extruded that to a quarter inch. It's one and a half inches across. Um, I feel like that's a little too thick, so I'm going to bring it up to three eighths. I'm going to bring that up to three sixteenths. Say okay, I'll bring my sketch back and I can extrude again, but now I'm going to extrude all of the pieces I didn't get before. And I'll do this at an eighth of an inch to give us a sixteenth inch relief. Now I've joined those two together and I will say logo puck. That is what it looks like to me. Now you can add this to any sketch. So you could put it on any surface and just extrude it from that surface. But since I started with no surface, I'm turning it into its own little puck that looks like a logo. Now that I have this, I can hide the sketch, and you can see that we have a one and a half inch across puck with a 16th inch extruded logo. If you wanted to get crazy, you could extrude the letters at a different height as the outside. I'll show you how to do that. So I can do it one of two ways. I can either go back into my timeline, adjust the first one so that it doesn't include those things, or I can use another extrude operation select those four elements and give it a negative extrusion of, let's say, a 32nd of an inch, approximately, or a 64th. Do that, and now you can see that those are sticking out very slightly less. So we have a raised ridge on the edge, and the letters are sticking out slightly less than the raised ridge. That looks pretty good, and now I can send it to my printer. In order to export it, I right-click on the name of the body, in this case it's the entire puck, I hit save as STL, and I use binary format and high refinement because the binary is a smaller format, and this gives me a better resolution so that my circles are smoother. And I will save it as logo puck STL. Now I've got an STL file that I can send to my printer. And that is how you create a 3D logo out of a 2D file. See you next time.